You know this one's gonna be a lot of fun. Today I'm taking a look at my favorite Christmas specials. It's geeking time. How's everyone doing out there? Guys, we are literally maybe as a, a week or so away from Christmas. Can we believe that? Maybe a few days away from Christmas? Oh my gosh, guys, it's coming so fast. Every year, I find every year the holidays come fast. Halloween comes super fast, New Year's comes fast, Christmas comes fast, the holidays always come fast. So you gotta take a step back, you gotta drink it all in, and you really need to make the time to do everything you want for the holidays because sometimes if you don't, it'll pass you by. What was I saying that? Oh yeah, because in that case, I love to watch Christmas specials. <laughs> if I find that it's going too fast the holiday season and sometimes I don't get a chance to watch those Christmas specials. So I try to make time to watch them every year with Christmas movies, Christmas specials, man. And then there's the copious amount of Christmas shopping that you do as well. So time, like really time gets past you when it comes to the holiday season. However, with that being said, like I said, you still gotta make time for some of those fun things to do during the holiday seasons. Like I said, watching Christmas specials. And today I am gonna be ranking, counting down my absolute all time all-time favorite Christmas specials. I think this is gonna be a lot of fun because Christmas movies are, are, we love Christmas movies. Christmas movies are classics, but there's a lot of Christmas specials that you know you grew up with and that you're like, oh, I gotta watch this every single year. And it just brings back that nostalgia in you because sometimes you watch some of those things that, man, I haven't watched that since I was a kid and you rediscover it later on as an adult. You're like, oh man, that brings back so many memories. And that's one of the things that I absolutely love about Christmas specials. As was the same with my Christmas movie countdown list and my other countdown lists, I always like to do some honorable mentions before I get into my core list. So with that being said, okay, maybe some of you guys might be scratching your heads like, why isn't that on the core countdown list? And there are some movie, some specials on the core countdown list. You're gonna be like, wait, that was there, but this wasn't there. As I mentioned, these are my favorite Christmas specials. All right, so to start off with the honorable mentions, we have Beavis and Butthead, Ha Ha Humbug slash It's a Miserable Life. I don't know what it is, I just love Beavis and Butthead. Every time I watch it, every time my wife watches it with me, we just laugh uncontrollably, and this Christmas special is no exception. This is literally a spoof of uh, A Christmas Carol and a spoof of It's, it's, a, it's a Wonderful Life, it, done in pure Beavis and Butthead fashion, and yeah, it's just, it's just hilarious all the way through. The Robot Chicken Christmas Special. Robot Chicken, enough said. Christmas, enough said. Combine the two, you get one of the most bizarre, funniest Christmas specials you, you can get, especially with, with Santa Claus traveling to Japan to give toys to all the anime characters. It's odd, it's bonkers, but it's, it's, it's hilarious. Elmo Saves Christmas, okay, okay, okay. My wife loves Sesame Street and we plan on when we have kids of our own to show Sesame Street to our kids and I, we, we actually dug this one up last year and we we're like, it's kind of cute. And I can definitely see myself when I have kids of my own showing this one to them. So that's why I'm definitely putting this as an honorable mention on my list. All of the other reindeer. This is a special that's based off of a book. Drew Barrymore does the voice of Olive who thinks that she is a reindeer. <laughs> it's, it's a cute film. I know that my, my mom loved this one a lot too. So she would watch that every holiday season and now I try to watch it as much as I can to every holiday season. Actually, if you've, never, if you've never seen or never heard of all of the other reindeer, I recommend it. Rugrats, the Santa experiment. If you're a 90s kid, you, you grew up watching the Rugrats. And this was one of those Christmas specials that stuck with us, honestly. Especially with the fact if you don't want to get a lump of coal in your <laughs> as a present. But yeah, I, I love it. I watch it every year as well. Nickelodeon, old Nickelodeon cartoons which you'll probably see a specific Nickelodeon tune on my countdown list. But yeah, Rugrats Santa Experiment, very good. The Angry Video Game Nerd, The 12 Days of Shitsmas. I was looking at the catalog of, of AVGN-related Christmas episodes, and he's got a lot of good ones. But this 12-episode-long arc of just him unwrapping shitty games for 12 days straight for the holidays is a testament to, you know, him 
committing himself for his fans and doing something like that. I found it was a little, it was unique. And I actually do watch this every single year without fail. All right. So with the honorable mentions out of the way, grab yourself a Christmas beverage, grab yourself a snack, and let's get straight into my countdown of my all-time favorite Christmas specials. South Park, Mr. Hankey's Christmas Classics. When it comes to adult-themed cartoons, The Simpsons and South Park are my favorite of all time. In this special, Mr. Hankey takes us on a journey with the citizens and some non-citizens of South Park as they sing holiday songs. There isn't much to it. South Park has always put out great Christmas episodes, but I find myself drawn to this one. Kyle sings I Have a Little Dreidel, where everyone joins in, a highlight of the show, but the show stealers are Santa's rendition of Duran Duran's Rio and Cartman's version of Oh Holy Night, which after hearing, you'll think is the best version. The only thing I still don't understand after all these years, what the hell are the Frizzies? Fighting the Frizzies at 11. Was the night before Bumpy. Mr. Bumpy isn't content with his gifts, so he hatches a plan to journey to the North Pole and steal Santa's bag. Mr. Bumpy ropes in Squishington to assist, where they encounter odd yet helpful characters along the way. Meanwhile, back at home, Molly Dolly is trying to organize the best Christmas pageant ever. Bump in the Night was a short-lived claymation series which I used to always watch. A lot of shows from our youth had Christmas specials, even the more obscure ones like Bump in the Night. The only thing I dislike is that it is over an hour long, where it could have been a 30-minute special. If you don't know what Bump in the Night is, or never seen this, I believe you can find it on YouTube. Go check it out. It's a lot of fun. A Charlie Brown Christmas. Depressed over the holiday season, Charlie Brown's friends try to cheer him up by having him do their Christmas pageant. When a Christmas tree is required, Charlie Brown finds the, uh, the puniest tree and is ridiculed for it, only to have Linus intervene and explain the meaning of Christmas. How is it that I don't like peanuts, yet here they are? In all fairness, my wife loves this special, and I watch it with her every year, despite my boredom. But I put this here for her as, okay, I can't deny it is a classic. Just remember, it is okay if you have the puniest tree. It will stand out. Santa Who, and it's a SpongeBob Christmas. Sorry, I couldn't decide. In Santa Who, Sandy tells SpongeBob about Christmas which prompts him to, to get excited and start spreading holiday cheer, uh, waiting with all of Bikini Bottom for Santa, only to have Squidward rain on their parade. Next up in A SpongeBob Christmas, SpongeBob is excited for the season, Squidward is Squidward, and Patrick wants to capture Santa to get his gifts. However, Plankton, tired of being on the naughty list, sprinkles Jerktonium on Fruitcake, where he tries it on SpongeBob to no effect. SpongeBob thinks it's delicious and starts giving it out only to have the citizens of Bikini Bottom become jerks. These are both equally hilarious and equally Christmas classics. SpongeBob's pure excitement and songs in both specials are infectious. I love the animation a tad more in the second special as it is an homage to the Rankin and Bass specials. As a huge SpongeBob fan, there's no way I was excluding these specials. Tales from the Crypt and All Through the House. A greedy woman kills her husband for the insurance money. When she brings the body outside, she begins a night of terror being stalked by an escaped criminally insane patient as, he try, as she tries to fend him off and keep him away. The problem is, her daughter is too excited for Christmas and Santa waiting to let Santa in. 
the episode ends in true Tales from the Crypt style. Looking back at my favorite Christmas movies list, I should have moved Beauty and the Beast out and swapped it in with Silent Night, Deadly Night, as this is such an awesome Christmas slasher that I feel a lot of inspiration from that film was in Robert Zemeckis upon writing this, down to the Santa killer with an axe. This episode is super campy, yet great. The late Larry Drake is as the killer is brilliant too. Tales from the Crypt is one of my all-time favorite shows, and I couldn't be happier that there's a Christmas episode. The Simpsons Roasting on an Open Fire Bart gets a tattoo, thinking it will press his mother, and so Marge requires using the Simpsons Christmas Fund to have Bart's tattoo removed. Mr. Burns cuts the annual employee bonus, prompting Homer to part-time as a mall Santa, where Bart exposes him. Upon receiving his severely low Santa paycheck, Homer tries to flip his pay at a dog race, losing all of his money, yet gaining a new family member and the perfect family Christmas gift. This is actually the pilot episode for The Simpsons, and a memorable pilot it is. These days, 34 years later, The Simpsons don't have the same appeal as it once did, but one thing's for sure, a lot of memorable moments came from them, just like this one. Grab your old VHS player, give this a gander this season. Mr. Willoughby's Christmas Tree. In this story, coexisted with the Muppets, even presented by Kermit the Frog, Mr. Willoughby, played by Robert Downey Jr., wants the perfect Christmas tree. At the same time, the family of mice living in his home want the same thing. When Mr. Willoughby finds the perfect tree, it is too big, so the tree is cut, thus being passed around. All the while, Mr. Mouse is trying to find the perfect tree for his family. This is a very underrated and overlooked Christmas special. Robert Downey Jr., my favorite actor, is great as usual. It's also wonderful to see the late Leslie Nielsen here too. There's also the heartwarming mouse family story. It's a great special to watch with the family. I think part of the charm is the inclusion of the Muppets and Robert Downey Jr.'s performance. It's highly underrated, yet highly recommended. Playhouse Christmas Special Pee Wee Herman hosts Christmas at the Playhouse with many popular, albeit at the time, celebrities. Pee Wee also has an extremely large list of presents for Santa, which may cause some children to go toyless this Christmas. This is as absurd, odd, bonkers, and bizarre as it can be. There's a scene where Pee Wee gets a phone call which bores him, walking away, for the caller not to realize. This makes me laugh every single time. Maybe I'm just as sad as everyone else that Paul Rubens passed away this year, but if you grew up with Pee Wee's Playhouse, Pee Wee was an icon to us. This special may be outdated, as it is a product of its time, but it still garners lots of fun and laughs. <music> Mickey's Christmas Carol it's Charles Dickens' A Christmas Carol, but with Mickey and friends. Uncle Scrooge is Ebenezer, Mickey is Bob Cratchit, Donald is the nephew, Goofy is Jacob Marley. We also have the three ghosts, Jiminy Cricket as past, Willie the Giant as present, and a cigar-smoking Pete as future. I don't feel the need to go over the plot as we all know this timeless classic story. Growing up, we watched this special every Christmas, and I continue this now. If The Muppets are my favorite film adaptation of this story, then this is my favorite television special version. What did he say? A Claymation Christmas. In this special, by Will Vinton, Dinosaurs Rex and Herb present various musical seg segments animated through claymation, and set to Christmas songs. All the while, different characters appear in between segments, singing made-up versions of Here We Come a Caroling, 
where Rex is convinced the lyric is, here we come a wassailing, trying to prove it. Oh, and we get, in my opinion, the absolute best rendition of Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, performed by the California Raisins. I've always been intrigued with stop motion, mainly claymation, and Will Vinton was a master, if not the master. Honestly, the special is creative, inventive, well-written, and sung, and highly entertaining. This is sure to make you feel nostalgic for Christmas past, as well as get you in the spirit for this Christmas. Another highly underrated and overlooked uh, special, it's an absolute classic. He-Man and She-Ra, a Christmas special. It's the twins Adam and Adora's birthday, yet Adam is helping Man-at-Arms with the Sky Spy to help, well, spy on Skeletor. When Orko goes to the Sky Spy, he messes around because he's Orko, teleporting to Earth, where he meets two children whom teach Orko about Christmas. In a side quest to bring Orko back, She-Ra adventures out to find a crystal to bring the Sky Spy with Orko back. Orko returns yet with the children, whom spread Christmas cheer, causing Horde Prime to enlist Skeletor and Hordak to stop them, as he believes this will cause his demise. The whole thing culminates in classic Masters of the Universe fashion, where even Skeletor learns the meaning of Christmas. What more do I need to say about this special? It's my one, it's so bad it's good Christmas special. Masters of the Universe will always be Masters of the Universe in all of its cheesiness. And that is on full display in this special. Skeletor feeling good about helping and Santa Prince Adam make this whole special legendary. Santa Claus is coming to town. Postman SD Special Delivery Kluger narrates the story of Chris Kringle, whom as a baby is taken in by toy maker family, the Kringles, where he grows up to become a toy maker himself, delivering toys to children where it is banned by the mean Burgermeister Meisterburger. Chris also meets the Winter Wizard, whom, whom he helps become nice. Ultimately, in the end, Chris becomes Santa Claus. Rudolph is a classic, but this one is my favorite Rankin and Bass special. I just love the scenery and characters. My mom also used to say that Chris looked just like my uncle of the same name. A little darker in nature, but a classic and wonderful special to behold with the family. <music> Dr. Seuss is how the Grinch stole Christmas. The mean one, the Grinch, hates Christmas. Yet Whoville and all the Who's down in Whoville love the holiday. Jealous of their gift getting, the Grinch hatches up a plan to steal Christmas from Whoville, where in the end, the Grinch comes to realize that Christmas might not be about the presents, but a little bit more. Narrated, as well as the Grinch voiced by iconic and legendary Universal Monsters actor Boris Karloff, with a theme, with a theme song just as legendary as its special. This is one of three mandatory views at Christmas. I love the Jim Carrey film, don't care for the recent computer animated film, this is the absolute best adaptation of Dr. Seuss's iconic classic story. This one makes me feel like a kid every time I watch it, and I will always love this special. A Garfield Christmas. John Arbuckle takes Garfield and Oni to his parents' farm for Christmas, where they celebrate with John's parents, brother Doc Boy, and grandmother, the sassiest and greatest TV grandma ever. Odie makes the perfect gift for, Gar for Garfield, and Garfield learns more about grandma in one of TV's saddest scenes. In the end, it's a relatable and at times eccentric story of spending Christmas with your loved ones. With Garfield at the center, the second mandatory view at Christmas, we never forget to put this one on. It's classic Garfield, and the scene with the grandmother kicks you in the feels, when she speaks of, of her of grandpa. A scene so powerful that I actually tear up thinking of my late grandfather every time. Damn it, Garfield. Okay, I consider this to be the perfect animated special ever, and admit it, Garfield's Christmas gift machine uh, at the beginning was on all of our lists. Get some eggnog and some snacks, 
and immerse yourself in this Christmas classic. Merry Christmas, Mr. Bean. I bet you didn't think this would be my all-time favorite, did you? Dimwitted Mr. Bean is celebrating Christmas as we follow him into a department store where he plays with the nativity scene in one of my favorite scenes ever, to taking a Christmas tree, to accidentally leading a band, and meeting with his girlfriend. All this is done on Christmas Eve. The next day, Christmas, Bean prepares, or at least tries and fails to prepare, a turkey, where that iconic scene comes from, and having supper with his girlfriend, giving her what he thought was what she wanted for Christmas. My absolute mandatory Christmas viewing. In my opinion, this is the absolute funniest Christmas special ever conceived. I've watched this special every year since it first aired, and I die laughing every time. Mr. Bean is one of my favorite comedy series ever, and the hilarity is on full display in this one. From all the chaos to the Christmas gift mishap, an explosion in the end, I always spend time with this dim-witted and chaotic yet lovable oaf. If you're looking for one special to watch, I highly recommend this one. Merry Christmas, Mr. B. <laughs> there you have it. That's my list. Like I said, I'm not saying that these are the greatest Christmas specials ever made. No, no, no. These are my favorite Christmas specials ever. These are the Christmas specials that I personally love to watch every single holiday season. Is there anything that you love to watch that maybe, oh yeah, you know what? That is a good special too. Let me know down below in the comment and let's talk, let's talk Christmas stuff guys for the next couple of days, I don't know. <laughs> All right, with that being said, Christmas is almost here guys. Oh, are you guys excited? Cause I, I'm pretty excited. I get like a little, you know, when it, whenever it comes towards the holidays, I'm like, I don't like Christmas. I'm like, I'm like angry. I'm, I'm, I'm one of those, Mm, my poor Halloween, but that when it gets towards Christmas, I'm like, I'm like a little kid. I'm like, I can't wait. I can't wait. But yeah, that being said, are you guys excited? Because I know that I really am. All right, so I'm going to get out of here. Uh, I actually have Christmas vacation coming up. Yeah, I got some holiday. I got holidays time for the holidays. So I'm going to be sitting back. I'm going to be relaxing. I'm going to get myself a nice big old cup of eggnog. And I'm going to just chill and ring in the new year and ring in the new year with my wife just on vacation so that's gonna be a lot of fun those are my plans those are what i'm gonna be doing nothing well i'm gonna probably see some family for christmas but you know everybody sees family for christmas but thank you so much guys for this whole entire year you guys have supported my channel i'm close to 600 subscribers and i think at the beginning of the year i was at a little over 400 so that was a big 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 massive spike in my uh, subscribers I appreciate each and every single one of you guys who have been there from the beginning. To those of you who have just, you know, subscribed now, I appreciate each and every single one of you guys. I could not be making this content without any of you guys. However, if you are brand new to my channel, please and thank you. If you like my content, subscribe to my channel. Click that bell to be notified so whenever you can, whenever I got brand new content out, you'll be the first, you know, to, to see the content there. I got a lot more stuff planned for 2024. I, I will be taking time off from my channel, so I won't be coming back until late January. So that's why I want to get all this out of the way. I appreciate each and every one of you guys. My heart is full with all of you guys, you know, supporting this channel. All right. All right. You guys have made this a wonderful Christmas present for me, just helping my channel grow. And I, I couldn't thank you guys enough. With that being said, go grab yourselves a cup of eggnog or whatever... Christmas beverage or holiday beverage you like to drink during this time. Have fun. Be safe this season. I wish you everything that you wish for. And I hope you all have the most happiness for the end of the year and the beginning of the year. For the last time in 2023, stay cool, stay nerdy, keep hunting, keep collecting. Happy holidays. And as always, it's cool if it's nerd cool. Happy holidays, everyone.